Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good weekend so far. No story today, I'm sorry. Just gotta talk some things out, right? I'm, I was just thinking this driving home, and I was, it, I mean, I was already upset beforehand, but thinking about it didn't help too much. I just had the thought, and I googled it. How many people are on Earth right now? There's 8 billion people. 8 billion people, right? And the only person that I think about all the time, or not all the time, but at least once a day or every other day is this girl, dude. And it doesn't even make sense to me because I wouldn't, I wouldn't get back with her, right? Like, if that opportunity came up, I'd want to, but I'd, you know, I'd really have to tell myself, don't do that, man, you know? You know how that goes. Don't do that. And the second part of that is, like, hmm I don't even remember the little things. Like, sometimes I feel like I know what her voice sounds like. And then I'm like, other times, like right now, I'm like, I completely forgot what it sounds like. Like little things like that or, uh, you know, smells or songs that used to bother me. Things like that because it would remind me of her. Like that doesn't get to me at all. But it's like every other aspect trying to move on is hard as hell, dude. It's just not working. It's just not working. And it pisses me off because... It's just been so long. It's been like two years or two years in a month or something like that, right? Around two years. That's a long time. Like, don't get me wrong. And I know I talked about this in my other video, so I'm sorry if you've watched a lot of these like mental health ones and you're like, he's repeating himself. I don't know if I am. I'm trying not to. I'm just, these thoughts stay in my head, dude. It's like, mm-hmm. I forgot what I was going to say there. Sorry, I forgot uh, what my little, what my little topic was about right there um but oh yeah I was saying it's been two years it's been two years so you would think like you know meeting up with girls and uh trying to meet people on dating apps like that would help or maybe there you'd meet person out in the real world that would you know change your mind about things because right now it's like hey I'm not dating any girl unless she was like perfect right and Yet I match with these girls, I hang out with them, do whatever, you know, I'm not going to go into details and be rude like that, no kiss and tell, right? But, you know, I'll do things, but it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's like, I can't get that connection feeling back. Like, even if I want to, even if I meet a girl and I'm like, oh, she's really cool. And we'll text for a day or two or three and I'll be super invested for that little bit. And then just like this wave hits me of just like, hey do you really want to do all this work again for nothing? Like, why are you doing this? And I tell them, I try to tell myself, like, hey, that's just the negative side to it. There's got to be a positive side. There's got to be a positive side. But no matter how much I try, or even if I go do out and do whatever it is they want to do, right? Like, let's say I go on a date. Let's go to the movies. Let's get food. Hang out after that, too. Like, back at the house. Whatever it is, right? It still doesn't matter. The next day or even that night, I'm just sitting there like, that was fun. That person was cool, but it's not her, right? And it's crazy that I think like that because it's not even like I'm, like, obviously, I don't know if there's still love or what you would call it at this point. I mean, I don't know. If she asked me, do you still love me? I don't know what I would say to that, right? Like, I honestly have no idea what I feel. All I know is that it's like this pit feeling, dude. It's like this pit feeling right in my, right underneath my chest, like right in my heart, basically. But your heart's like over here, right? But I feel it down in here I guess it's more like I feel it in my soul right it's just uh it's just a pit and it's just sad and it's not as bad as it was when it first started obviously I mean it's been two years you would think it'd get a little better it has gotten better but it's like it's enough to not make me cry I'll say that like two years ago for eight months I just cried almost every day right like anytime I thought about it it would make me cry I'd be real sad like that won't happen again unless it's you know maybe once a month at night super late at night but it doesn't really get to me in that aspect it's just like it's like long-term thinking and anytime I'm trying to meet someone new or just going to hang out like I used to be I, I loved to party when I was talking to this girl not talking dating I'm not I wasn't talk just talking I was dating her for like a year we I would go to parties I'd go out with friends go get food randomly with friends like I would go out anytime someone asked me pretty much unless I was hanging out with her right now it, it has to be something I really, really want to do, and I'm still iffy about it. It's just like, whatever, dude, I don't even care. I'll just sit at home, I'll do my video, I'll get high. Like, that's all I want to do. I don't really care, man. And right after I moved back, uh, which it had already been a couple months, it had been like eight months at that point, so a little less than a year. And it was still affecting me like it was the first day. It was crazy. I mean, I came home, and it was just, uh, you know, 
the only reason I came, I mean, not the only reason I came back, but when I came back, I was half expecting to see her again. I did for like a week and then, you know, back to, back to the norm. But I don't know, dude, it's like, I told myself back then, like when I first moved to Florida afterwards, I was like, Hey, you know, in a couple months, it'll go away. A couple months goes by. It doesn't go away. I'm like, okay. In a year, it'll go away. A year comes around, moved two states, came back. And then still, it was like, damn, this is affecting me. So then it's been a whole nother year since then. And it's not getting better. I mean, in tiny parts, it is, obviously. I mean, like I said, I sometimes I can't remember what her voice sounds like. But I do these things to myself, dude. Like, uh, you know, you know, if you're in this kind of situation, the last thing you want to do is see something that reminds you of them. But when you see like a profile, like I was on Facebook yesterday, I wasn't even thinking about it right at the moment. At the moment, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about a relationship. wasn't thinking anything about that. And then I see her Facebook profile. It's like, God damn it, dude. It's like, that's that's the universe just, just punching me in the gut. But um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the other way around this. Like, maybe I'm just being a bitch. That's, you know, I think about that aspect of it too. Like, should I be over it by now? Probably. And do I want to be over it? Obviously. Like, yes, I would love to be over it tomorrow. I'd love to wake up and just not give a shit about what happens to it, right? But that's not what happens at all. I wake up and it, you know what did go away? You know what did go away? For the first like year, I always expected when I first woke up, I would always look to see if I got a text from her, like a huge explanation or a huge like, hey, I want to see you again or something like that, right? I don't expect that anymore. But there are times like, uh, I won't lie, because I've had these thoughts recently, like only in the past two or three months, right? Which I wasn't having these thoughts before, but I like half expect to still get that text, but like randomly, you know, not, not wake up to it, but like, I don't know. I still somehow expect a random call or an Instagram DM or a comment or a like on my post or a follow on one of my accounts or an ad on Snapchat. Like, I don't know why. I know it's most likely never going to happen, but there's still that piece of me that holds on to that. And as much as I try to just get rid of that, it doesn't work. And like one part of this I did do good at, I didn't care about the pictures and all that. Like, yes, it sucked looking at all of them. But the moment things were over, I drove to Florida, right? It took like three days because we stopped so much and we stayed at a house. It took two days, not three, but the moment I got to Florida, two days later, I was able to delete all the pictures, delete all videos of us together, all Snapchat memories. Didn't that part didn't bother me? But then, like, uh, like before, before I'm not gonna go into those details. That's a little personal. Um, I'm a better person than that. But yeah, let's just say I got I got some gifts before the relationship ended, right? Like recently, before it ended. Not recently, like now, but recently, like like um, a week before we broke up. And I knew the breakup was coming. I think we both did. But uh, these gifts were just, I don't know, kind of like a sorry, maybe. I don't, I don't exactly know how to put it. But I would look at them and they would still make me sad. You'd think I could throw those away, right? Nope. They still sit at the top of my closet, completely hidden. I'll never see them until like one day I'm moving out. You know, maybe then I'll see it. But I make sure I'll never see it. I hid it under a bunch of blankets, put it in a bag. Like, I'll never see those gifts. But for some reason, unlike the photos, I can't get rid of them. I don't know why, dude. I don't know why. I think it's that tiny piece of me that hopes, you know, not hopes, but just wonders if she ever tries to come back into my life. Hey, look, I still have these gifts. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Because part of me, like I said, like I was just saying, I wait, kind of wait for that text or that call or that follow but then I also tell myself, even though I really would want to, I couldn't take her back. Like, eh, even though that's not going to happen, that's never going to happen. But in that scenario where like, hey, I get a random phone call, I miss you. I have to tell her no, right? Even though everything in my body tells me yes, right? And I think the biggest thing that does get to me, though, I mean, I've said this three times, so I'm I'm saying it again, but I'm I'm elaborating on it. It's not just this phrase, but I... I know I've said this before. You've probably heard it if you're still watching this point. Thank you. But the, she told me you did everything right. And the biggest part of that in my head that would eat me up is if I did everything right, why did it end, right? Correct. That's what I thought. Or that's what I got told. So then, you know, I kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. The fact that I was, the fact that that happened is the exact reason I wouldn't want to take her back. Like, I know that. I'm aware of that. And yet I still have to battle with that thought all the time. Like, what if? 
what would I do? I don't know what I would do. I really don't. I don't think I'd be very hard to convince. That's all I'm going to say. Even though I know what I should do, I don't think it would take uh, very long to convince me to go back to that, uh, I don't even know what to call it, that lifestyle. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. It's just a lot of different things. It's like three or four different things all at once. It's like I try so hard to meet other girls and I do like I'm not saying I'm not successful in that I'm not going to go into detail like I said but I've been doing other things it just doesn't matter you would think it would like a rebound but like a couple of them and it just doesn't matter dude not at all so I don't know I really don't know what I need to do to not think about it I thought just grinding just grinding super hard would make me not think about it you know just be focused on doing work or making money or doing videos, seeing my puppy. I do all these things. I grind. I try so hard not to think about it and I'll get distracted for a little bit, but it always comes back and it's just messed up, dude. Because I literally tell myself this. I was just thinking it and I have to tell myself more, I guess. There really are 8 billion, actually 8.1 billion people on earth. It can't be that hard to find someone new or to find someone that, you know, I care about more than just a, uh, how do I say this respectfully? Fuck buddy, right? Like, that's the bottom line. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's TMI, too much detail. I'll probably be embarrassed about this at some point. The day I get over, I'm sure I'll delete this video. But uh, if you ever feel this way, or you can elaborate on it, comment, whatever, that would be helpful, because I don't know what I'm doing here. But I do know that it bothers me. And it's not too fun. But what are you going to do? That's part of life, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll have a story time tomorrow. I'll uh, get back on track. You know how it goes. Once I have one of these mental health videos, it's like a week straight of just fire stories that of me doing bad things. So don't worry. Those will come next, and I'll stop being sad. <laughs> stop being a bitch. Thanks for watching. If you comment, then I always answer the positive ones. I try to. And if you really need someone to talk to, go and do something. My Instagram right on top same exact as my youtube name fit699 it's also linked in the channel info go in there dm me and i'll get back to you within a day or two thanks for watching be safe and oh wait before i end this you can become a member you can become a member peace out